while both of them are social discovery platforms for you to meet single people who are in the pursuit of romantic partners the intent of users in general on both these platforms are quite different on matrimonial apps you have people who are looking to get married in an imminent time frame somewhere between 6 months to 1 to 2 years whereas on dating apps like your tinder bumble hinge people are on these platforms to meet other interesting people whether they want to date them whether they want to hook up whether they want to get married to them isn't always clear from the get there is a lot of ambiguity in terms of intent which isn't really clear unless you've spoken to the person for a while now there are a lot of people who enjoy the ambiguity and um, the the lack of clarity in intent because the journey of going from an unclear intent to something that is a little bit more clear is a process in itself and a lot of people enjoy that whereas if you are somebody who is actively looking for a life partner and is looking for a long term stable relationship with some sort of commitment whether it's marriage or not then you would be on a matrimonial app now matrimonial app is unique in the sense that it doesn't always just have people who are single and looking to get married themselves it also has parents or siblings or friends of people who are representing the people who are looking to get married so the experience overall is quite different from being on a dating app where you only ever meet people who are looking to date themselves i know a lot of people don't like to be on matrimonial apps because it's filled with parents or siblings and it's quite awkward or uncomfortable to have that sort of conversation whereas on dating apps you can be assured that you are talking to the person who you could potentially end up with right now given that the intent um of the users are quite different and the end goal of users on both these platforms are quite different you would choose one or the other i know a lot of people who are on both matrimonial apps as well as dating apps to maximize their odds but if you asked me i would say that the first thing you need to do is really ask yourself what is the route that you want to pursue and what is the time that you have on hand in order to um choose a partner if that is your end goal if you're just looking to explore if you're just looking to date um then dating apps are the way to go but if you are looking for a serious long term commitment then you're more likely to find people who share your intent on matrimonial apps and I'm not talking about creeps or scamsters who are there on both of these apps. I'm talking about the general most average profile um of a user on these platforms where people are interested in using these platforms for the intent with which they're built. If you are on a matrimonial platform, there is an accepted sort of timeline in terms of uh when you would be expected to make a decision in terms of being exclusive or not whereas on dating apps this can be quite stretched out or unclear so if you are somebody who likes a very efficient process in terms of um taking the next step and so on uh you would be best place to use a matrimonial app now having said this one of the things that i hear a lot from a lot of people is there are a lot more interesting people lot more fun people on dating apps whereas all the people on matrimonial apps are quite boring and dull um so i want to be on a dating app because you know there are far more interesting people well that's fine if you're looking to date but if you're looking to get married if you're looking for a commitment within a 6 months to a 1 year time frame then you kind of have to go into a matrimonial app because you don't want to spend 2 years trying to convince somebody that they should get married let alone to you uh but if that is something you're up for you should absolutely be on dating apps so i would say most of the time it's an either or or decision although people like to be everywhere um they're more likely to find success on one of these platforms depending on what their intent is i hope this was helpful